Hello, my friends, and uh, welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, 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 General Surovikin, or Surovikin, um, the, what was the General of Doom or something like this? He's back in business. Remember the one that was uh, <clears throat> taken from here and put off at home for a little bit? The guy with uh, Wagner. You remember the guy? No? This is, uh, let me show you. Well, I'm talking about maybe this uh, rings a few bells right there. Remember this guy? Sergei Surovikin, a former Russian Aerospace Forces VKS commander who was fired over his, right, over his links to Wagner, has been appointed as head of the Coordinating Committee for the Air Defense under the Council of Defense Ministers of Commonwealth and Independent States. Right there. Ukrainska Pravda reports today, uh, yesterday actually, September 10th, 2023. Russian General Surovikin, Surovikin, appointed the CIS Council of Defense Ministers. Now, is he going to uh, fly soon? <laughs> or what? So, he is back in business. Uh, uh, we don't know how much uh, control he's got, how much power he's got, how much sovereignty he's got. But uh, we'll find out, right? What do you think will happen? For those who think that he's going to be blown up like uh, uh, some people say it was Wagner Group, Prigozhin, or um, I don't know, maybe he's going to be hit by a truck, maybe he's going to try to fly from a, you know, who knows? Maybe nothing. Maybe we're never going to hear about this guy. Now, well, let's see what uh, the Ukrainians are telling us about this situation. So, details. Oh, this is a source, is the Institute for Study of War. Not trustworthy. Uh, I uh, lost, they, I mean, they lost respect when they talked about something that was not quite right. It did it for me when they reported on that missile uh, destroying those um, Azov battalion prisoners. Remember, they could not, uh, I made a video then, like two or three. They came with three stories and they missed and they fucked. So without any evidence, they didn't have any evidence. They just, uh, and besides, look who's one of the, the, uh, the one in charge at the Institute of Study of War. And guess what, is uh, Victoria Nuland's uh, sister-in-law. <laughs> that tells you a lot. Zelensky as well, Zelensky Stein as well. Anyway, according to military experts, a little known local Russian media reported on 10 September that the CIS Council of Defense Ministers has unanimously voted to appoint Surovikin as head of the Air Defense Committee. For now on, Surovikin will allegedly be responsible for the supervision and functioning or functioning of the un unified air defense systems for the CIS member states. That means he's going to coordinate. Not good if he is an agent. Uh, then uh, of a <coughs> foreign uh, uh, part of a foreign uh, agency, then uh, he's going to be supervised big time. And he knows it. He's not an idiot, if that's the case. Military analysts noted that well-known and Kremlin-linked Russian media did not report on Surovikin's new appointment and did not mention him at all after Russian President Vladimir Putin dismissed him from his post as VKS commander on August 23rd. All right, we'll find out. He says here that Surovikin took over the command of the Russian airspace, uh, air forces, airspace, air forces on 31st October 2017. From October 2022 to January 2023, he commanded the joint group of Russian troops in Ukraine, and from 11th of January 2023, he served as deputy commander during the Wagner PMC mutiny on 23 24 June 2023. Surovikin recorded a video message to the mercenaries calling for them to return to their places of deployment. After that, he did not appear in the public's eye. It was a picture that showed up a few days ago with him walking uh, with his uh, wife, I guess, with sunglasses and a hat. And they say, well, is he is he, the guy is not the guy. The point is, he is released, according to those guys, in... I mean, I don't know how important that uh, news would be to be broadcasted by the mainstream media in Russia. Maybe it's just an order, don't promote this guy anymore, just keep it over there. For me personally, it doesn't really mean anything. I know if he 
if he is allowed, if he was part of the mutiny and he's on the other guys' uh, payroll, he is going to be charged. He's going to be charged, convicted, and uh, put in jail. If not, if uh, you know he didn't make made a little, little mistake in Wagner again, he would be uh, convicted and uh, charged and convicted because they would not let it slide. Maybe they did, like they did with uh, Prigozhin. They didn't do anything with him. They just said, get the fuck out. But with this guy, they had all the power to uh, make an example out of him, like traitor, and that would be it. But that would show probably uh, dissent, and they don't want to do that one, you know? Showing dissent is, oh, so there's people over here that don't like Putin. That could be it. So they say, well, we're just going to wane this information away, and he's going to have a heart attack or a mini stroke, uh, and that would be it. If that happens, then what I said in the past uh, 27 seconds is uh, accurate. <laughs> we'll find out. Thank you very much. If he is not going to disappear like that, as I said, in the next um, four years, five years, four years, five years, or three years, within five years. Why? He's 40 some. So I'm not expecting him to die. Uh, you know, sometimes it happens, but very unlikely unless the ukrainians are gonna <laughs> this guy too with the help of uh okay <laughs> thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just